It specifically told me no soft Oh wait, I can calm them. Why don't I keep forgetting I can play music? Just calm them. That was. That's that's the song. Your music has calmed the bees. You don't want to get too close to the bees. You carefully wrap the beehive with your cloak, making sure not to anger the bees inside. Bees! I have a... The cloak is tightly wrapped around the beehive, making sure none of the bees escape and the honey doesn't... Do I use this on the bear? I don't know. What do you think? Bear? I don't even know where the bear is. Man. Where's the bear? Where's the bear? Ooh. Sounds good. No, oh, do we troll? Unless I need to use the beehive on him. The troll. No. Nope. I mean, I would guess I use it. I mean, my guess is I use it on the bear, but I'm not sure. I also never try to use my music on the bear. It almost. It oh, you get. Lassies, step closer. Closer? What do you think you can accomplish from over there? Good. Now, take out that snack I saw you tuck away earlier. Perfect. Now, you stupid bear, get the scent and eat those two fool girls so I can get away. Shame on you, little sir. You're trying to get this bear to kill us. Yes! Shame! If you'd just have let us talk, we could have told you that we know this bear from our travels in the forest. She's our good friend. Yes! She's been gentle as a lamb to us, and twice as friendly. We will not help you this time. If you really wanted us to be eaten, then it's fitting you get a taste of your own medicine. We hoped there was good in you, Gnome. We really did. But be warned, if you do get out of this, you must change your ways, or you will be judged and punished. Just go away, you silly girls. To have such dim-witted creatures lecture me, scout in the gnome. Cursed fair-skinned wenches, where is the justice that they live and I die? Ah! You there, do the right thing. Get this beast off of me! Nice idea, but you don't want to- You should think- What? Nice idea, you should think- Just throw it! Throw it at the bear! But then it would sting all of the things, so... You know. Those two things- you hang the beehive. There we go. I guess. I don't know. Thinking quickly, you use the beehive and its honeycomb to distract the bear. Okay. The bear swats the remaining bees away and quickly eats the honeycomb before settling back down to sleep. 
You discard the sticky bamboo stick. I don't deserve this kind of treatment. I'm Skelton, the gnome. I've got to go visit my cousin up in the Mira Mountains soon. Those girls are driving me nuts. Huh, those two girls are right. What a rude little gnome. Not even a thank you for saving his life. What a jerk. I, I don't know what that accomplished either. Can I get... I can't get liquid. You can't in this. fill the. But I can't get liquid. So what am I supposed to put in it? I I tried dirt and that didn't work. You don't plan to. I can take his treasure now. The hole in the tree? No, wait. I knew you'd try again. I'm not stupid, you know. I was always going to take my treasure with me when I left. I'm truly sorry, Gnome. I didn't mean to. Make your peace with whatever god you worship, Bard. Little sir, it seems you don't have any good in your soul after all. We've tried to help you and bring out some inner goodness, but it's to no avail. And now you're going to kill this lovely young man just because he found your stolen treasure? And after he saved you from the bear, you tried to lure him into killing us. It's time you learned some manners, little sir. <laughs> and you're going to teach me, lass? Yes, we are. Wind, water and elements among us. Turn this greed and malice into a fungus. Yeah. That'll brighten this corner of the woods nicely. It seems I'm in your debt, ladies. You saved my life. There is no debt, Finn. It was our pleasure. What about him? Uh, will he stay a mushroom for uh, forever? Oh no, it'll wear off eventually. When he's learned his lesson. Whew. Well, that's good Which to know. Which is never. Good luck in your quest, Finn. I do hope it's you who finds the queen if it's not us. Thank you, ladies. Best of luck to you. Goodbye. <laughs> Look at that purple mushroom. Now that the ornery gnome is a mushroom, you don't suppose he'll need the treasure. So you take it. Considering he stole this anyway, I think I could find a better use for this treasure. That's... that... that... we're gonna call that a yoink. For this game, that is definitely a yoink. That's a yoink? That gnome certainly collected a large amount of treasure here. What? What do we do with this? What do we do with a thing of treasure? We can give it to the troll, but what would that accomplish? Like, we can get across the bridge. <laughs> But it's the only thing I can think of right now. I mean, we can try it, I suppose. You don't. Why is it even there if I don't need it? Like, seriously, why is the branch there if I don't need it? I could have used that in place of the bamboo, you know? You hand the treasure to the troll, who seems pleased with your offering. Maybe. Maybe there's something on the other side of this bridge. Alright, we, we accomplished that. Oh, there is something. As you on. enter this magical clearing, you see a pretty young lady. 
Could it be? Is this the queen? Hello there. I'm Finn, and it's a great pleasure to meet you. Ah, are you the queen hidden away here? Bard, it's wonderful to see you again. Before you can say anything, Fowlin grabs the girl's hand and runs off. Looks like I found the queen first, Bard. Don't bother coming back. I'll tell them I found her by myself. Your Majesty, you're so lucky I found you. Like the time I, Fowlin, the hero. As they leave, the girl turns her head and smiles at you. I should tell you the story of how I defeated Lord Sinister on our journey back to the court. Oh well, you may as well head back to town. Bending down, you pick a single beautiful rose from among the flowers. Well, there's, there's a rose. It would probably be a really nice and peaceful place to sit and compose some music. It said I should head back to the ceremony, so I'm gonna do that. The town guards will not let you back into the ferry. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. I don't know. We need to figure it out. I was thinking about it today. It's a actually. charming stone bridge. It's a charm. Thinking about that today. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need to do some sort of vote or something to figure out what what she's gonna eat from Taco Bell. She gets to pick one thing, and you, chat, get to pick two things. That's not the way I want to go. And I also need to get my Roger will go. Um, cosplay together. I, I owe you, I owe you both of those things. No more can I take you to- I may need that gold coin again in my travels. Could I bargain with you for its return? I've never been asked that before. I suppose it doesn't break the bargain. If you were to give me another rendition of Stairway to the Other World, I would be able to give you your coin back. I have recently learned that song. I can play it for you. Masterful piece of music. I shall return your gold coin in payment for playing it. Thank you, for I need it to re enter Cran Neoin. One gold coin in payment. That is my rule. No more, no less. Here is your coin. Thank you. All right, we got our gold coin back. Bing! Now we can go back. All right. All right. I was. I was I was slightly worried, but not that worried. Just just there was a slight bit of worry, but the game told me at the beginning I can't get soft locked. So it said you cannot you cannot enter unwinnable situations. So this really isn't much of a homage to King's Quest more to Loom, I guess, because I don't think Loom had any soft locks. Loom was a relatively easy game, though. Hello, Chucker. Uh, why aren't you at the ceremony? What 
ceremony. Well, Fowl and found the queen. Oh, he didn't find the queen. He thought it was her, but it turns out it's Alka the barmaid's daughter, Arde. Oh my. <laughs> That's nice, though. Yeah, Helka was so happy. But Feolin wasn't as much. He's been drinking in a tavern ever since. So, the queen is still out there? Yep, she sure is. Now, I'm sure I'm not finding her. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Should I go to the tavern? I feel like I should go to the tavern. Just to, just to be like, yeah, you're an idiot, you silly person. You didn't even ask her if she was the queen. You enter the... Hey there, why so glum? I thought I had the queen. Turns out it was just the tavern owner's daughter. I'm sorry. Gave it an honest try, but the challenge isn't over. Yes, it is. For me. I thought the Queen was surely posing as her daughter. I was wrong, though. I can't get anything right. Why do you say that? Cupping his hand around his mouth so only you can hear him. His eyes get intense as he leans in to whisper. I'm a fraud. I never defeated Lord Sinister. When I reached his stronghold, and we fought to the inner sanctum, he was in the midst of doing some kind of arcane ritual. I was scared. I faltered. When he moved to attack me, suddenly he disappeared, as if sucked out of the room by magic. He shrieked and screamed and cried something about, this isn't Avalon, and then he was gone. The rest of the men came in and assumed I killed him, as his cloak and armor were left behind. And I didn't correct them. Please keep my secret, Finn. Please! Of course. It wouldn't do anyone any good for me to tell people. Someday, you will have to, though. I know. And that will take real you courage. Run. I hope I find that. What a phony! If you really want to know about Lord Sinister, ask Brother Kunshin at the monastery. He can tell you anything you'd need to know. I'm not gonna talk to the bartender, because... That accent is just too you much. Quickly brush any dust. That's you too quickly... much. That's too much for me. Or too little, or whatever. I don't. It's something. It's something. It's too something. It's too something. That's all I got to say. I guess I'll talk to the person in the. Uh, the monster. Are we just getting lore here, or is this important for the game? Like, are we just getting some lore? Because I feel like they tried you to introduce enter some the lore, old and, and then they never made more games in this area. Good to see you, young Finn. Tell me of Lord Sinister, please. Sinister was a powerful enemy of ours. He sought power beyond the means of this world, and paid dearly for it. So did the rest of you here. It was Yuyer? lucky he was stopped before more damage took place. You see, Finn, the Order has been here for countless years, and in protecting the land and its people, we protect something greater as well. It goes back long ago to what most consider myth now, and the story of Arcturus. Yes, of course. I've heard tales and songs from my father. We at the Order consider it among our highest priorities to preserve the story of Arcturus. Tell me of Arcturus. Over a millennia ago, Yuya was a young world. So much chaos and strife. The people were divided into many warring factions. The people of different lands were distrustful of each other. Many were greedy for what others had. One day, though, out of the mists of the north, there came a simple man. Uh -huh. He could not say where he came from. He only carried with him what appeared to be a simple sword. 
but somehow he gathered people to his banners. The greatest warriors of many nations began to follow him. And after the final bloodshed, Octorus and his twelve knights declared war to be over between all the great nations of Uyir. Arcturus and his men built a great castle at Mor Cleom, and it was there that he founded the Order of the Thorn. Cool. Tell me of the creation of the Order. Arcturus knew that this the kingdoms of Uyir would always need a common ally. A group that would watch out for all and promote the best interest of the people. He did not wish to rule Uyir at Morcleom, as he said he'd seen what that could rot before. But he did wish to provide protection, solace, and wisdom. The Order wisdom. was his creation. A group of knights and monks with loyalty to all and to the code of conduct that the Order held themselves to. Wisdom, you can't eat that. Arcturus's banner was a sword entwined by a vine with thorns, and those who flocked to his banner adopted it as their standard too. Cool. It was only logical to the founding fathers of the Order to call themselves the Thorn. Soon, monasteries and great halls of the Order of the Thorn spread across Uyir, some even reaching the highest peaks of the Mirror Mountains. Oh. And in all those years, we have remained as a beacon of good for the people of Uyir. Ugh. What happened to Arcturus? Let's get the well, lore. Arcturus, as shrouded in mystery as his origins were, was still just a man. He aged, but continued to stay and serve for many years. It is regarded as myth by most now, but our official documents trace over 200 years that Arcturus stayed with us. Yet even as he grew older, his vitality remained unimpeachable. One day, though, he said that his time here was past due, and that he needed to leave. Where'd he he walked out of the castle at Morcleom, and was never seen again. Years later, a letter was found, written from him to his first commander, Regent. In it, he explained that he had to return to a place called Avalon, to take the boat home. As he put it, many have searched for Avalon, but it is no place that we know of. Okay. Oh my gosh! Lore! Tell me of Avalon. Avalon I mean, is a mystery to we'll the just, Order, we'll just get even it. after all these years. We've had many adventurers and scholars really search for and study, but game. nothing could ever be but found. Hey. Sinister, in fact, was a student of the Order who went mad searching for it. It is said he became obsessed with it and the power it afforded Octorus. This is the reason he began scouring Uyir and destroying villages and cities. He was convinced Octorus hid the secret of Avalon somewhere in the realm. He used his power, his charm, and his wit to subvert many and convince them to flock to his cause. He would tear Uyir apart with the aim of finding the secret of Avalon. And he promised a better world for all with its discovery. But all he brought was strife, death, and destruction. The world was torn asunder for a time, but now, thankfully... We have peace. All 
right. Goodbye. Best to you, Finn the Bard. The Order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, ha I, ha I have an idea for the, the, the thing, and that's the chicken soup. Maybe, maybe I can convince him to give me chicken soup now. It's been... He, the fact that you haven't eaten your lunch yet, by the way, is just enough proof you should give me the chicken soup. Because it tastes like chicken. Get Come in, it? lad. Could I have that soup? Oh no, that's my... I know that raptors go crazy for chicken, and it's possible in my adventures I'll come across a raptor I'll need to pacify. Well, it's a rather strange request, I suppose. But the king did command we assist challengers if we could. Here you go. Please take it with my compliments. No trade necessary. I've got some housekeeping to do, bud. Tell me if anything catches your eye. Chicken noodle! Alright. The bird isn't here. Alright, now we go back to the swamp. The swamp. It does. Hey, 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 where are you? Hey, where are you going, dude? I, I, I was given his lunch. I was given his lunch. I didn't steal it. He gave it to me voluntarily. You decide. Be careful in that. So do I use it on the raptor or do I use it on the sloths? It's really the question. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. You hold the chicken soup out in front of you, and the raptor becomes very excited. Raptors do love chickens. He's gonna follow me now, okay. The raptor lets out a loud screech and rushes towards the sleeping sloths. <laughs> The raptor is feeling pretty good about itself now because it just runs off. Okay. You dive into the water. Okay, I didn't expect that. I'm in like a new place. Whoa. You'd rather not get near. This is a maze. Did we just discover our ma a maze? I think we discovered a maze. You don't have a re- I think we discovered a maze in this game. Gotta love a good maze. You don't want, you don't. This seems to be a nest of swamp raptors. This can't What did the turtle say? Never, never wear swim trunks wet. Right. Hmm. Oh. North, north. Oh, 
Okay, it's a toad. Never, never wear swim trunks wet. So north, northwest, southwest. Okay. It was a, it was a hint. Wow. You hear some large footsteps coming your way. Aha! You take the harp from the nest. Knowing that returning this to the Pixies will bring your precious. That didn't occur. Putting your hand. Why won't you tell me where the Queen is? Isn't that what you seers do? Tell people things? My friend, I cannot tell someone who is not willing to listen. Listen? You speak in riddles and half-truths. Just tell me, in plain language, what I need to know. I am sorry, friend, but I have told you all I can. Stop being so darn polite, you... you... Just tell me where she is! <sighs> okay, my friend, okay. If you ride due west of here for three hours, you will find her. Ha! I shall win this challenge, and the king shall grant my greatest desire! Yeah! Wow. The poor fool. That way only lies danger. Alas, he would not listen. Hello, Seer. I don't mean to intrude. Ah, another challenger. You wish my wisdom? To be honest with you, I was just traveling through the swamp trying to find the queen. Ah, candor is refreshing after spending time with that last buffoon. I am Yama Uba, seer Yama of Uba. what has and what will. I shall aid you if I am able. Thank you, dear seer. Yama Uba. I got, I got, I got, a, I got Seer, points. I'm looking something. for the queen. Can you help me? I can. It is quite simple to look into the mist and see what has been, what will be, and what is. Yeah. But first, I must see if. You are oh no, I have to answer these life. questions three. I don't have to fight you, do I? <laughs> oh no, my friend. A you battle of wills. Only a battle of the wills is required. What must I do? Look into the cauldron. The seer hands you several vials containing oh, no, colored it's a puzzle. liquids. Maybe. Add these potions to the cauldron as I require them. This is your task. Only when they are mixed properly will we see the truth. Are you ready? Sure. The sky above us brings us joy. Sky. Sky is blue. You pour the blue vial into the cauldron turning the water a beautiful shade of blue. The grass beneath brings vitality. Yeah, it's green. Oh, uh, I don't have green. Oh, yellow will make it green. You pour the yellow vial into the cauldron, turning the blue water a deep shade of green. The earth beneath the grass brings earth. strength. Uh, I'm gonna go with red, I think. You pour the red vial into the cauldron, 
turning the green water earthly brown. Gross. This small task is complete. You already have it within yourself to complete the challenge before you. You've met the queen already, though you didn't recognize her. Your quest is hidden or changed. You will need help for you to see. That is all I see. Thank you, Seer. That is helpful. In my hut, you'll find a chest. Inside the chest is a flask of ULE juice. Ooh. It might be of some help. ULE juice, I need that. Quest. Opening the chest, you reach in and grab the flask of ULE juice. Is it the pixie? Is it the is pixie? Is there anything else you can tell me, Seer? There is nothing else I can tell you at the moment. You already know the answers, although they might not be clear to you. However, my cauldron can also show truth. Although to conjure the images, one needs some theorine berries. If you can retrieve some, the future may just become more clear to you. Thank you very much. I will try to find these berries. There is a secret way back to me known to few, and now to you. She describes a secret path out of the swamp to the west. You remember her words. What can you tell me of Uli Juice? It is a very rare and potent juice, often used for making restorative potions. Use it well, dear bard. Where is the secret path? Walk to the west of my hut, and you will find it as you walk from my view. What can you tell me of Furian berries? They are often guarded by special trees. Trees that visibly react to the world around them. What can you tell me of the thorn? The Order of the Thorn, obviously. They can help you in your task. Goodbye, Yama. Good luck, Yama Ubard. Blessings upon you in your challenge and your quest. Yama Uba. You push through this area, as the seer said, and you find yourself a secret passage out of the swamp. Well, that's you manage to find your way through the path, and are surprised to find yourself back in the fairy woods. That doesn't... Here you go. I found your harp. Silly bard. Now we have your book and our harp. Hey, you promised you'd return my songbook if I found your harp. Try and make us see if you can. <laughs> you stupid bard. Just try and make us give your book back, you big smelly musician. No, oh, man. I got tricked. I got tricked. Can I go back to the swamp this way? You find this. I can. Okay. So I had an idea. I have an idea. Yes, an idea. Wait a second. I'm getting an idea. No. False alarm. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Wait. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Yes. You don't see a. Maybe. Maybe. I was thinking maybe I could put these in the jar. Like spider web. Taking out your glass jar. 
You look closely at the spider, intent on capturing it. These seem to be little pixie wings. You guess this is the great big monster the pixies were talking about. These... These... You carefully lure the spider into the glass jar, removing it from its web. Okay. I was just, I was gonna get spider webs, so I thought I could maybe, like, wreck them, wreck, wreck them. Alright. You hear some? The monster was a spider, okay. You push through this. You really won't give back the songbook. Go away, silly bard. You're boring us now. Well, I gave you a chance. You open the jar and hold it against the tree, and the spider crawls out. Return the book, and I'll remove the monster. Yes, yes, take it away. The book first, Pixie. Thank you. Now, do as you promised. Take it away. It will eat us. You take the spider and release it into the grass. There. It's gone now. Now you go too, bad bard, tricking us into giving you our pretty book. You haven't learned a thing, have you? Oh well, I got my book back. You feel better knowing your father's book is back in your possession. Ah, stupid. Stupid pixies. I know more songs now. Let's go back to the, um, the healer. Back to the healer. You spend a we go back to the healer, or the potion maker. We use the juice. We got the fruit. Now we got the juice. Then we can probably make a restorative potion for whatever reason. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do with it, but we'll have it. Assuming she's there, because she kind of left. Oh, she's back. Oh, Yuli juice. Most excellent. Now I can add some watermelon juice, seeds, and rind to this, along with some other fairy herbs. And now we have a restore potion. This potion will revitalize any living thing. There is one final step you must do, however, Finn. You must take the potion and place it within a group of crystals. Many of them grow in clusters in the valley. The deep vibrations of the earth that reverberate through them will bring about the final component of the potion. Only then, after you have fully restored the potion, can you use it. Thank you, Glenda. I'm lucky to have met you. Oh, let's talk. Oh, okay. Let's go talk to Tad. All right. Well, whatever. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, Tad can. Tad. All right. So now we need to put this in the thing and maybe use it on the flower that we got. Maybe. It says any living thing. I still have the chicken soup. That's interesting. 
You place the potion amongst the crystals. The air begins to crackle with life and electricity, and a hum fills the air. Whoa! You retrieve the potion, which is now visibly charged with life. You pour the contents of the restoration potion over the flower. Instantly, you see its wilted petals unfurl and the vibrant colors return. Okay. Now, we give it to the angry tree and we get the berries behind it. And then we go back to the seer and we give her the berries that are behind the tree. Where is the tree at? I think it's over here. I think. Maybe? No, this is where the fairy... No, it's not over here. I'm wrong. What is the... What is that island? Like, I'm very curious. Like, what's the deal with that island? Is that... Is that... Is that literally... Like, we had to go there to get the cloak? Okay, I might have to look the map for this. It's a map. It's right there. That's the tree. So I just I just had to go up north one. That's all I had to do. The go. southern Just had to go I just had to go north. It was on my way apparently to the I just Okay. I know where I know where to go. It's not like this map is big. Maybe we'll beat this game. We might, we might, this, this seems like it's going to be a short one, but I don't know. Oh, here it is. Can we give you? You bend down and dig a small hole, planting the revitalized flower in the fertile soil. Hopefully, this flower will provide company to the lonely tree. You notice a change in the demeanor of the tree. It seems like something is happening. The tree looks absolutely overjoyed. Between your music and his new friend, you can tell he'll let you pass and get the berries. Stupid tree. You take some of the... All right, now we go deliver the berries. So... We could either go through the swamp or we could take this path. Actually, this path is much faster. It's probably. If you steal my songbook again, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna. Find the... I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. Ah, you found some Pyrene berries. I did. Excellent young bard, for they can tell us the final piece of your mission. You drop the berries into the cauldron where they melt away, turning the liquid into a rich red color. Blueberries turning them red, interesting. The seer stares intently into the cauldron. Must be magic. I see the future. The shadows are parting and the mist is lifting. I see you helping a man find love and a woman find happiness. Done. I see you talking with your fellow competitors, some helpful, others not. Done. And I see you saving the lives of two lovely young ladies by helping an ungrateful dwarf. Done. Yes, this is the one. One of your allies in this event is our queen disguised. Play a song, a song of clarity and truth, and all will be as it is. 
That is all I see. The mists have closed in again. The a queen song of is... clarity and truth. What could that be? Brother Kunshin of the Order of the Thorn could help you there. He once played the strings much all right. as you do. I know the answer. Thank I know you. who it that is. That was a great help, Seer. I know who it is. It's not the pixie, it's Barney Gumble. You pushed Gumbel. through this area, as the seer said, and you... Or <laughs> Barney Gumble. Barney Pile, I guess. Not Barney Gumble. Maybe it is Barney Gumble, I don't know. The guy who didn't want to participate is the queen. The queen is just in town. We're searching far and wide and the queen is right there. Is it is this is this is this going to be the end of the game? Like are we almost done? Like what the heck? Like I think this is the queen, Chucker. Hello there, Chucker. Oh, uh, hey. Goodbye. Goodbye to you, Finn. No, this is not. Well, I do. Uh, well, Ted I'm here. looks incredibly happy. Oh, it's Ted, not Ted. Well, as happy as Ted can look. He's an introvert. You look happy, Ted. Aye. I'm happy I could help. I don't say much, but I will say thank you, Finn. You're a good lad. You enter the old... Good to see you, young Finn. The seer told me to ask you about music. Yes, in my youth I composed music with the ferocity of a man possessed. In fact, I wrote a tune that became quite popular. Blessings of Mead. My father taught me that one. I bet he did. But it has always varied from my original composition. I called it The Truth in Mead. Too much drink could always coax the truth out of some. So my song reflected that. I will teach you my original version, if you like. Yes, absolutely. He teaches his original version. The composition varies slightly, but you recognize the tune that you knew. May this song show you the truth of things when you need it. Goodbye. Best to you. Yeah. So yeah, we listened to all that lore for nothing. It's you. It's you. I know it's you. You're the only one it could be. Wow, that song! Let me tell you a secret, Finn. I only quit the challenge because I was afraid to both lose and win. If I lost, oh, maybe not. it would be another thing clumsy old Chucker lost again. If I won, people'd expect too much of me. I couldn't live with that much responsibility. It's tough sometimes, Chucker. But in the end, you gotta be who you are. That's what I always say! Thanks, Finn. Telling the truth feels good. Well, I was wrong. Who else could it be? Let's go to the Pixies. I mean, honestly, I want to know what the Pixies have to say anyway. It said, did, did she say it was one of my competitors? 
that's the only one it could have been. Like, yeah, I guess it could have been one of the sisters or one of the one of the women. I'm just running around playing it and everything. Wow. Truth is, Bard, you're really good. I'm sorry we stole your book. We were just too scared to get our heart back. And I knew you would because you're a good Bard. That doesn't explain why you wanted to keep my book. You stupid... Pixie. I... Oh, what about the seer? Uh, excuse me, dear bard. Might you free me from these webs? I seem to be stuck. Uh, what happened? I tried to tell him not to try to pass, but alas, he did not listen, so I made sure to immobilize him. You wrapped me up in your webs, you vicious beast! Well, that's no way to talk to a lady. You'll never escape with an attitude like that. I'm sorry, Gown. You really should have listened to her. She's the Spider Queen. I'll find a way to break free! Alright, play the song. I'm going to put it on easy because I play this song like multiple times and I don't feel like playing it every single freaking time. The truth is, dear Bard, I do not know where the Queen is, but she does have a penchant for transfiguration. Okay, that's not who I wanted to. That's not who I wanted to truth to truth bomb, but whatever. No, uh, can I go this way? No. Like it wasn't the gnome, right? All the gnome. I guess we could could be the mushroom. You gain your. That would be, that would be hilarious. It was the mushroom. Such a nice song. Okay. So the gnome is literally a mushroom that has no ability to say a thing. Okay, cool. All right, well. Okay, there's the bear. He is too busy being The a song mushroom. seems to have stirred the bear, and suddenly something begins to happen. Hey! Oh, Finn, congratulations! You've done it! You have really done it! Your Majesty. It was my honor to be the one who found you. Come, we return to Cran Neom and celebrate your victory. We did it! We're the best! The other challengers have gathered outside the great tree in Cran Neom to see the closing ceremonies of the king's challenge. I didn't expect it to be the bear. I thought it was one of our competitors. I thought she said it was one of our competitors. I really did. 
The whole town is watching as King Quillhand prepares to honor you for your service. Finn the Bard, you are found and returned our queen, thus winning the King's Challenge this year. For accomplishing this task, you shall be rewarded and your name spoken with great renown. Thanks. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Oh, no, he didn't kill me. Bird, it is with great pleasure I give you this golden ring and name you Champion of the Fairy Realm. You have adventured bravely and wisely, living up to the ideals that the challenge represents. Thank you, Majesty. It was my pleasure, as the people of Fairy Kingdom are warm, gracious, kind, and hey. smart. My competitors were noble and worthy too. No, I would weren't. not have won, in all honesty, without the help of some. It is the noble hero who acknowledges all those who help him achieve more. Together, and only together, will we thrive in this world. Is there anyone here who would like to speak to Finn's character at this time? Finn is kind why, why and brave. Why are we speaking to my character? I want. Him, we might not have seen a friend of ours for who he truly was. He probably saved us a lot of heartache and trouble. Finn is brave and noble. When I was brash and full of pride, he did not kick me when I fell. Finn was nice to me. Even though I didn't think my choices through, he never treated me unfairly. Finn is talented and capable. He has proven to be a true friend to the fairy folk and to the Order of the Thorn. You may now ask one favor, and if it is within my power, I shall grant it to you. Your Majesty, the favor I would ask is this that you commission a school for bards, minstrels, actors, and other artisans. An academy where they can grow and learn their craft without the disadvantages my generation has suffered. And my wish is that you name it after my father, Donal the Bard. This is a noble request, Bard. It shall be done. Well done, Finch. You have a pure heart and a noble soul. What is that? The queen, death to the others, especially the monk. Do something quick. A barn. Such a nice song. Oh, it didn't work. The monk quickly chants a spell. Well, I tried. Gah! Retreat! Retreat! Who? What were they? I do not know, but we will find out. I must travel. Oh, Finn, I, should, I probably should have used the nice me? thing I never used. The Order used. of the Thor needs you. Yes. Yes, of course. Don't worry, Majesty. We will get to the bottom of this. Be safe. We shall be extra vigilant here. Guards, lock down the forest. More patrols. We may have war upon us. I think you might just have what you this need to write your song now, Finn. Actually, I think the story's just begun, Your Majesty. I may find more to compose in my travels. I'll be looking forward to hearing it someday, dear Bard. Fare thee well, and good luck on your journey with Brother Kunshan. I know the bees. I it's thought the bees were coming back. Stomp. What? So Finn and Brother Kunshan sent off on the road in search of who the mysterious attackers were and what they wanted. You see a lot of these in adventure games. Little did you know that events were only beginning to unfold in the land of you here. Uh, events that would change the destinies of all good folk for the land. And the game is over. That's it. Two and a half hours, approximately. And we'll never know because I don't think they made any sequels to this.